You're listening to Three, two, one. Podcast by Paper Fill and Play. Hi. Hi. Hi, man. Okay, welcome to another uh, podcast mm-hmm. uh, by Paper Film, of course. Mm-hmm. So, uh, today's topic, we're going to discuss about um, what if mm-hmm. you found out that your friend mm-hmm. has an affair or rather two timing somebody? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you, you know your friend, mm-hmm. or maybe, like, for example, a guy, you know, he is probably like maybe your good friend. And then one day you caught him uh, actually hanging out with another girl. Mm-hmm. And then we talk about like holding hands, that kind of thing. But the thing is that he is actually engaged. So what are you going to do? Are, are you going to, you know, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to approach him? Or are you going to tell his uh, so called fiance? Hmm. I mean, he's my friend, right? Yeah, he's your friend. So we just keep it that way. <laughs> so you're not going to do anything about it, lah. Uh, you go first. <laughs> well, it's straight up. Just go up to him and just. I mean, like, yeah, I will just like confront him directly, lah. You mean, will confront like, him. Definitely, I would confront him. I but mean, like, like that. Usually, you don't. You confront so they. Yeah, that's up. the thing. I mean, like, maybe I would like accompany it together with a slap, lah. If that would actually like make. Not some sense into his head. I mean, like this is saying that uh, we are actually good friends, lah, right? Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah. So you would just like go and like, yeah, you know, like wake him up. Yeah, I will confront first, and mm-hmm. if it doesn't work, then physical. Yeah, I will definitely get it down <laughs> on his face. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't let me wake him. Then, I mean, I mean, okay, yeah. that is because I have my reason Because, mm. like, I'm thinking, I'm female mm-hmm. I'm thinking from the female's perspective la. And okay. then when a guy uh-huh. is my friend Obviously, I'm going to get angry You know, like, he's my friend, okay The person that I really, like, trust, you know like, And I don't want to general, generalize That all men are the same, you know, that kind of thing mm-hmm. Like, to know that my friend is actually doing that mm-hmm. Oh, that is no man. Hell no. It's <laughs> not in my watch. It's never going to happen. So I will not okay. let that kind of thing happen to another female. So definitely, yes, I would go and confront. No yeah. doubt. But what, what, what was the, the thing that you're going to say to him? How are you going con- yeah, to do gonna it? Confront I'll just yeah. go straight. If I caught him like face to face, like, you know, like with some mother girl mm-hmm. holding hands and yeah, I'll just walk out to him, walk up to him and walk I'll up just to like... Him. I mean, you don't even want to like call him and say like, hey, where are you? Then, like, maybe you, you don't even want to hear his explanation first. Like, you know, is this girl really somebody that he's seeing behind, uh, you know, behind his fiance's back? I mean, do you want to, you're not even going to give him a chance to explain, but you just straight up okay. going to go I for mean, it. like, yeah, definitely. I would definitely go up front uh-huh. to him and probably just ask, like, uh, what are you doing here? You know, like, who's this? You know, like, confront in the way, like, yeah, la, tell me what is it? You know, like, in front of the other girl, of course. Okay. So it's going to be like all out in the air, that kind of thing. You know, like there's no, you know, like I'm going to see whether he's going to like be shaky in front of the other girl or, I mean, like it's like, it's a two-way thing. Like, I mean, probably the girl will also benefit from this, like, whether like, you know. But what if the girl knows? If she's, uh, what? If the girl <laughs> there, knows? There is, there is. There is. What if? Asked, what if? Okay. Then what I, if, okay, they are mm-mm. seeing each other. Mm-mm. Okay. Okay, maybe if. The story changes. Like, mm-hmm. but you only know one side of the story, right? Mm. But if you actually ask him and then he tells you that, uh, you know, it's not working out for him and his <clears throat> current fiancé. And this girl is actually somebody he uh, so-called met. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they have some feelings. Okay. And he's deciding whether to call the whole entire engagement off. Okay, well, rule number one. Uh-huh. Does the fiancé know? I definitely I don't yeah. think so I mean I'm they going to ask like, that question. <laughs> yeah that's the <laughs> that's the <laughs> question okay question number one or the rule like, because I'm calling it rule because I want to do it the right way you mm-hmm. know like I said so question number one is like I'm going to ask like if both of them are in agreement right I was in like the new girl and the friend mm-hmm. if they are in a mutual agreement they know and then they develop some feelings and stuff like that I'm going to ask my friend mm-hmm. does your fiance know about it you know like if she doesn't know if you're doing this thing behind the back uh-huh. I mean, I'm happy for you that, you know, I want you, you're my friend, I want you to be happy. If you don't mm-hmm. think that, you know, your fiancé is the right one for you, then do it the right way. You know, like, just break it up with her and mm-hmm. then move on to this new found love. I mean, like, everyone deserves to be happy. There's no right or wrong, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. It's just that, yes, she's your fiancé, but haven't get married yet, right? So mm-hmm. there's always a hope. So, but just do it the right way. 
you know, don't have to be the double timing to, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, but what if he tells you like, uh, or oh, he's thinking about how the best way he can actually do it, you know, because there's a lot of people involved, mm-hmm. you know, we talk about the family, we talk about, uh, you know, the, the fiancé herself. And then, um, yeah, like, what, what's the best way to do it? You know, if let's say um, this is it, you know, they don't want to prolong this uh, so-called misery. Actually, then how? So how would, would, how would you do it? <laughs> would you support him mm-hmm. now that the, the story has changed? You know, would you support him? Or would you think of a solution like, you know, um, maybe we'll talk about it again on how we can actually... Uh, get this news broken out to your fiance. Yeah, I would definitely want to have a word with him first, lah. I mean, like. But like, would you still let him go out? As like maybe maybe they are you know probably going for a movie or something. I don't know. Maybe we should have a discussion, like really a legit discussion, because the thing is that we will not know what is like. We want to know what is the both side of the story. Okay. You know, like we can't just jump to conclusion uh. so <laughs> but you were about to jump <laughs> yeah I was about to jump because the, the thing is that I can't see my friend committing mm-hmm. a mistake that is like a crime I would say I mean like you know what I mean it's like just do it the right way like guys you know you don't have to hurt someone to be right I mean doesn't okay. really you know you don't have to pay or something like that so just do it the right way whatever like uh, I don't know whatever uh uh, what is that trouble you guys have or something just talk it out mm-hmm. just do it the right way would you I mean like be the man I would say mm. how about Zal uh, is this show explicit or you can say anything so I can use bad word uh? can <laughs> alright <laughs> can so what's the question again <laughs> okay what will you do okay maybe <laughs> for Nitya right mm-hmm. because it's a guy I guess there's some like you know girl power thing mm. but if it's a girl you know would that change? Would, would things change? No. Your approach would be different? Uh, no, it would be the same. Because same approach. Because friend is still a friend, whether it's a guy or a girl. Okay. I think um, it's still going to be the same because as long as you are going to be my friend, you better follow the rules. As in like, there is no... I mean like, for me, it's like, I really don't really <laughs> like... <laughs> Come on. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, just mm. don't make sure like... I mean, it's not hard lah. I don't really get... I don't really understand like why do you have to lie certain things okay. you know why do you have to hide certain things just mm-hmm. be upfront just be bold I mean you are doing something just like own it up to it I mean we are humans none of us are perfect we make mistakes but you have to be bold enough to really stand you know like accept your mistake uh, you know what I mean mm. yeah <laughs> no, I mean how about you I mean have you witnessed or maybe experienced something like that uh, like my friend yeah, of like, course. <laughs> so so of what 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 happened? I mean, like the worst that you have seen. Worst. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna listen to this one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the worst that you have seen, and then like what happened after? Worse, ah. Uh? Not say worse, ah. Uh. There's one. Uh, there's one of my friend who, you know, although they are already in relationship, but. You know, guys still playing Tinder. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Lah. So, that's why after that, this, uh, my friend and this girl made up. Okay. And stuff. So, mm. he still have a girlfriend. Lah. So, basically, this guy and this girl, yeah, this, uh, my friend and this girl, mm-hmm. decided to go overseas, lah, like staycation. Lah. And, I mean, never get caught by the girlfriend? Uh, never get caught yet. But... What's his reason for... After that, <laughs> Uh, as in, uh, I was working at Harbourfront. Uh. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. So they, they, they come, he come and like, eh, I'm going to Batam, so uh, send me off. Uh. So I say, okay, uh, send me off. Uh-huh. Then like, they ask like, who is she? <laughs> then he's like, oh, you know, like, they, they just a uh, story and stuff after that. Like, I have bad impression on the girl. Uh. Like, oh, you, bad impression on the girl yeah, and not I the guy? Very bad impression because like, no, the first, the first thing I thought that she know that this guy have a girlfriend lah because of social oh, media and stuff, right? Okay, okay. So, it, like, it's like, why did you go and like still mm-hmm. want to go overseas with him lah? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah lah, but they did lah. They did go lah. But it, at the same time, while my friend is cheating, mm-hmm. his girlfriend is cheating also. Oh. Yeah. 
how, how, how do you know that the girlfriend is cheating also? Hmm? You also same thing caught by you. Ah, uh, that one wasn't caught by him. That one was caught by him. Ah, so what? He went to Batam first. No, oh, okay. Batam, sorry, I finished already. Uh huh. So after that, the the girl, the girlfriend, and him like not in good talking terms, lah. Uh-huh. And then slowly, after that, she, she he decided to go to her block, lah. Mm. And that's when she, he saw that uh, the girlfriend uh-huh. was sent home by this guy. But yeah. then was there anything? You know? Yeah. Like did After they? That, he confronted her on the spot, lah. Mm-mm-mm. And then yeah, lah. He he say he's been seeing this guy. Then. <laughs> so she admit, lah. She admit. So okay. from my point of view, like, I don't know. No, but it's just w- like karma shit, lah. <laughs> <laughs> so that means he went off first, lah. Yeah. He, I mean, he did it first. I don't first. know whether it's the same time. Or, <laughs> I don't know. How's the timeline like? You know, yeah, you don't know. know. The timeline like, but but this thing happened. What I understand is this is based on the timeline that I understand lah. Because for, I, what I thought was that if mm. like you you cheat on me and then I'll cheat on you as well, you know that kind of thing. No, maybe they cheat, cheat, but they don't know they are cheating. <laughs> 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 they don't know the other person are cheating. Like, okay. Maybe, maybe, yeah. oh. I mean, that's the most interesting story lah that I heard lah from my friend. Oh goodness! But yeah. n- now the thing is that so at the end, of, I mean at the end they mm-hmm. broke up lah. Yeah, la, of course lah. <laughs> so they went with each other's partner, like you know. The people that they were with lah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. the people that they scandal with is now they settled down with. <laughs> yeah. No, but the thing is that so did the girlfriend mm. uh, actually find out that he actually cheated on her? Which girlfriend? Ah, I mean, got two couple, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, your your friend, right? Uh, he, no, I don't know. Oh, so maybe like maybe the girl didn't even know. So she probably be thinking like, oh, I, I was the one, I was the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, because she didn't find out that he actually cheated on her. Also, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so she be probably be thinking that, oh, I'm I'm the one that actually caused this broke the the breakup. Yeah, only the guy knows both story lines. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like now nowadays, you know, you you don't know. It's like uh, you, you don't know whether to, to take the next step, you know, whether mm. should you uh, drop off. Mm. I mean, we're moving on to another topic now mm. on why people actually cheat. Yeah. You know, is it just something like a, a pleasure or the thrill that they like to have and that's why they do it? Or I is think it more of lust. Uh. Lust. Yeah. Sometimes, mm. pe- sometimes people cheat, they, like they are not sure of their current partner mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like they having like they want to f- like find out whether other girls will fill up all the gaps mm, okay yeah. so like mm. example he and this girl have like certain things that he doesn't like ah. mm-hmm. and then they, he like trying to work work things out after that he go and like maybe date another girl mm-hmm. to see whether the percentage increase lah for that girl <laughs> ah. so maybe that's one reason okay and a reason would be standard at last ah. they just want to fuck and go ah. just to get it out yeah ah. just to get it and just at, at, the, at the end of the day they're gonna marry someone that they are comfortable to live with ah. true so at that point of time they just fuck after that at the end of the day just marry the, the right person <laughs> yeah play after you get the whole entire thing cleared out and then that's it yeah that's the fucked up part about the world <laughs> Then yourself, I mean, like, what, what would, what would you do? Okay, maybe we put into another perspective, right? Mm. Maybe now, now we put in this situation where you, okay, you are already engaged, for example, Ooh. and then uh, <laughs> after that, you know, maybe when you you're working and then re- you met your colleague, uh-huh. and then you realize that you know you guys have a lot in common to talk about, okay, mm-hmm. and then you're like, oh my goodness, you know, he's so much better than my boyfriend. Yeah, oh, that's no, no. one of the common things uh, usually yeah. when they don't uh, they don't get to how to say uh, uh, exposed to this kind of thing uh, mm. like exposed to like colleagues and stuff mm, correct so once they are exposed to this because some of them like they are they have like strict parent so they don't get to go out or they don't get to mix around uh. so once you enter the so they have like one, one boyfriend one girlfriend uh, yeah, when correct. they enter the Real world, which is a working world, then mm. they start to oh, this guy like got chemistry with me. Mm-hmm, yeah. the guy. That's when, not say cheat lah. That's when they start to shake ah, or waver lah. Yeah, you know. 
That's yeah. where cheat all the cheating happen lah. Especially some of them, although they some of them are married also. Mm. Then they like maybe they change job after that they meet another person. Yeah. That's where people start to uh, divorce and stuff lah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually I don't understand lah. Actually why do really people cheat I mean I really really don't understand that okay. I mean like what is it I mean like is it necessary I mean like what ever result say right I mean yes it's true lah probably like you know it says that people have strict parents and you know suddenly mm-hmm. like oh, maybe you're already engaged and mm-hmm. then suddenly you feel oh someone else is actually you know you have better chemistry that kind of thing oh he's mm-hmm. better than my fiance or something like that but to me it's honestly um I don't think so. I mean, that doesn't give you a reason to cheat. Because okay. I think that I'm a person who really thinks that opposite attracts. Mm-hmm. So if I think that, oh, this person has like, how to say yeah, It's like, um, like me and my fiance probably would have different characteristics. And I think that is what makes it work. Okay. You know, that kind of thing. That doesn't give me just because uh, we have certain, uh, of course, we are all going to have a certain... Mm-hmm. Imperfections. Different, uh, imperfection, differences. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it's love is like working its way through. So it's to accept the imperfections. Uh. Yeah, definitely. But what if, right, um, you know, the person you meet, mm. okay, and then you guys have even better chemistry than... Then we will have a better friendship. That's all. It's only going to be a friend. It's, oh, definitely, okay. def- uh, it's definitely not gonna, going to turn as a relationship. I mean, that is my, my opinion because like, okay. how to say, uh, someone who stays loyal will always be loyal. You understand okay. what I mean? So, I mean, like, if you are cheating, it only means that it's already been there, you know? It's, it's already means that you don't really love your partner that well. You know, you have always had a doubt. If you were 100% confirmed okay. with your partner, I don't think so you will ever have a reason to cheat. So, I mean, mm. like, if whatever reasons he said could be, yeah, but I, I still think that they are just very uh, strong reasons. It's, huh? it's, it's, it's like, it's, they are just reasons to cheat. La. So, it's, that means she's saying... Uh, uh, they, 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 yeah, they just la. fucked yeah. up, man. Yeah. So, that means like, she, what, I mean, what, what I guess you're trying to put it across <laughs> is that, you know, if let's say you are really certain about the person, yeah. then whatever that's to come, you won't be even like shaken or wavered at all. La. Definitely. Mm. Don't you think so? I mean, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> What about I you? mean, <laughs> I was daydreaming. <laughs> the chicken part again? No lah. So I mean, what what she means is that if let's say you are really certain with that person already, okay. whoever or whatever temptations may come, you yes. will not be shaken at all. Yeah, yeah. will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I mean, yeah. but sometimes you la. must understand that you know, especially guys are uh, the last will like. Yeah. Know, See, then that's come. last. That is last. That's yeah. not love. Last won't last, but. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you know, it's just gata <laughs> la. Or sometimes peer pressure. Sometimes peer, peer pressure. pressure. Yeah. Could be, could be, could be. How, how how does peer pressure take into place with this? You know, sometimes they have friends who cheat also. Like like okay. Like, hey, I got see this um seeing this girl blah blah blah, blah but I got a girlfriend now. I sing this girl. Ah, uh, okay. So like you see like, oh, he can do, he can do, why not I try lah? Oh, okay. You know, some some there are some bodo guys out there lah. So <laughs> That's they, when they, they fucked up. Better. That's when they fucked up That's when they good fucked relation. up They don't know it's, it's like This guy He do this He know how to play the game okay. This guy He do this He know how to play the game But if you know ah, <laughs> you know, idea. Everything Yeah there's some guys there ah. mm. Okay I mean like Temptations is everywhere lah, Definitely mm-hmm. You know But it's how, how you actually Want to work on it And how you're gonna Like uh, counter it lah. So I mean If let's say uh, oh, okay. Maybe we put it. We create another story. Hey, your right? show nobody sponsored drink. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> My show. Your show nobody sponsored drink. Eh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'd like to thank pa- uh, Poka for sponsoring. <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to thank Poka for uh, sponsoring us the green tea. Poka. Sorry, buy. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> But anyway, mm. um, okay, so if let's say uh, this guy mm. approaches you, mm-hmm. you know, and, and says that he's, uh, you know, he knows that you are attached. Okay. Um, and he has never met anyone like you before. Okay. And he's not going to give this chance up. Okay. And you guys, you know, can really click. Mm-hmm. 
So you were still how are you gonna how are you gonna actually push him away? Hey brother. Oh hey bro. brother. Bro. Nice. Hey bro. <laughs> hey bro, yeah, bro. <laughs> Friend zone you. Yeah. Bro yeah, that's, that's bro I mean, zone, if you're asking me the question, yeah, then yes, okay. I am gonna say, Hey bro, thanks bro. I mean like I really wish we had actually met before I met my you know, my boyfriend ah, or somebody. But okay. Who knows? I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Maybe some other generation the next time. But this time, I mean, like, it doesn't mean we have to cut off this friendship. Mm-hmm. I would really say it's a start of, like, another friendship, you know, that kind of thing. No, but, okay, you see, now, now things, I'm curious, no. Sorry, bro. <laughs> now I'm curious. Mm. If, let's say, you were to argue with uh, your your boyfriend, okay. for example, or maybe, uh, because we're in the topic of being engaged, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe your fiancé. Then, uh, after you think about, would you think about the guy? Like, oh man, if I actually went with him, I wouldn't be in this predicament right now. Make sure my fiancé isn't that bad. Lah. Isn't that, uh, I mean, like, if I think that he was... What is your fiancé, Chalat? Yeah, I what mean, if? What do you mean by Chalat? I mean, if he was Chalat, I wouldn't want to marry him, what, right? Come hey, on. No. Like it, bro. Yeah. Hey, don't say I that. Mean, I mean, like, no, you know, like because you say about imperfections, right? You yeah, can take okay. imperfections. Okay, the thing is that, see, the thing is that when you are in love, uh-huh. even the imperfection seems perfect. So yes. you will never have, you will never, 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 never have a chance to say that your partner is Chalat. Okay, you know? now, now I'm curious. Now, because now the thing is that imperfections, because I believe that imperfections, there is a certain limit mm. to people being able to accept imperfections. Okay. Mm. You know, I'm sure you've heard your friends telling you that, ah, your boyfriend treat you like that. Ah. Mm. You know, girls don't talk about that to each other, man. Uh, I mean, you guys got sure compare what, oh, your boyfriend like that. Ah. More, oh, like, oh, ah. more mm. like, what? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What is it? Uh, no, no. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm sure you guys got, got compare, got share stories among your, um, your girlfriends or so, right? Yeah, do you guys like share like, oh, he's driving BM. Uh. Oh, my boyfriend driving like... Yeah, yeah, do you guys compare that? Not in my circle, though. I mean, I'm not so sure other girls out there, but in my <laughs> friend circles, no, we don't really do that. I mean, like, uh-huh. yeah, we don't really... I mean, like, when we have a girls outing, we try not to talk about boys. It's not a oh. boys, it's anti-boys. Mm-hmm. Anti-boys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So that's why. Okay, how about you? <laughs> oh, what about me? <laughs> no, no, you can ask me. I'll just answer. Nice. You can ask what? So what's the question again? What? <laughs> no, I mean, because this, at the end of the day, right, it's actually called a discussion. Right? Yeah. We'll have a discussion. Ma. Yeah. You know, but of course, temptations is there. Lah. I mean, okay, temptation, you are keep telling temptation. I mean, like, well, I mean, if you are, I mean, like, what can I say? <laughs> Don't know what to say. Don't say lah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let me put it in a proper sentence. Like, uh-huh. um, no, there, there's, there's, there's this there's this fucked up thing that like uh, when a guy and a, like you know, okay, example just now like you say the guy and uh say like he like you after that you got fiance after that you like, bro, we don't we don't like no, we don't like have anything but we still can be friends. You know? mm. I mean like then, that like, is sometimes a guy like sometimes a girl broke up so like oh we I think we are, like cannot ngam ah sorry like. But we still can be friends Like There's oh, no r- such rule as okay, okay. Still becoming friends After all this shit bro I mean like that is If he's okay <laughs> it's with it It's whether he's okay with it Because from the start I mean like Whoever this guy Who approached me right I mean, have uh-huh. a fiance dude So definitely I'm gonna bro yeah, on you Yeah this guy Have feelings for you Okay so So that, there's no go You don't say I want to become your friend that's For me bro. Okay okay work, That's bro. the I mean like I would <laughs> okay. definitely Drama work bro In real life It doesn't work bro <laughs> Let me talk. Okay. Okay. What okay. I meant was that. <laughs> what I meant was that I'm going to definitely ask him. It was a request. It's uh-huh. up to him whether he wants to approve it or not. If he's not okay with it, if he thinks that he's still going to have feelings with me, I mean, for me, then okay lah. You can go on his your own like, way. Okay. Then like personally, he's like okay. Then I can try again. Maybe like a few months they broke up or what? No. They can go in again. Yeah. I'll probably just wait when she starts crying or maybe have yeah. some issues with your oh, boyfriend, it's right? It's okay. It's okay, I'll be there for you. You know, uh, the part yeah, where yeah, yeah. <laughs> where you're most weak, right? That's when it, uh, they go in and take the dragon, man. <laughs> then, 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 of course, it depends on the girl. Uh, whether, I mean, it, I mean... Um, That's why I say there's no such thing as like, you know? Friends, is it? Uh, friends. You, if you like, the guy like you, mm. then you have somebody already. Okay. Then just... Right. Or oh, that means try to avoid contact lah in yeah, your opinion. Okay, no, okay. no, like I becoming I and you become friends. I this is like, you know? Yeah. I that understand. shit is bullshit. If we, like, why we can become friends for the fuck you lah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A lesson to be learned is avoid. <laughs> yeah. 
brother. Girls are dumb, boy. like, you know. What? Every time it's like, oh, never mind, we can still be friends. We can still be friends. We got such thing. <laughs> So that means why So that means what 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 you're saying is that if let's say uh, you like this girl and you confess to her hmm. and then she says that you know it's like, uh, at that's the point it. Of, at the point of confession right it's already like uh, it's it's either go or no go that's all okay, okay. so once you confess tak jadi dah go don't go and like oh, we still can be friends. We can still go watch movie <laughs> Friends oh, oh no lah That one cannot lah la. <laughs> Watch yeah. movie cannot lah When friends. I say friends I do not mean by You go out on a movie There's date There's no one to one No one to one out thing at all Yeah That's not what I meant No Cannot one to one already One to one is like Clear cut Something lah Yeah lah Cannot No more one to one Okay lah I mean Um it's good. I mean, based on what I see is that if let's say you, you have uh, so-called somebody approaching you, mm. your stand is cut off. Yeah. You know, don't mm. don't go further. Uh, main, main thing, I think it's more of like acquaintance, a high buy kind of thing. Like if you only need, I mean, if you have to talk about work, then that's it. Yeah. And then nothing else. Yeah. Mm. So if you want to hang out, is that's it in the group and that's all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. And then for you, it's like, you know, if you are attached already, you have to draw a line among everybody. Yeah, that's correct. So yeah. that means you you close yourself from any source of temptation because mm-hmm. your belief is that uh, imperfections are always there. Or at, I mean, your other half. And it's, you know, the matter of how to accept the imperfections and then just, you know, go on with life. La. Yes, correct. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that's the take. Mm-hmm. La. <laughs> I mean, I, I cannot say anything <laughs> because my story is different. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. What is your so story? What's, what's <laughs> story? <laughs> so my story, right? Okay, but anyway, for the viewers, right? I'm actually. Uh, Are you allowed to say this? Ah, uh, mm, <laughs> think twice. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe I will try to filter it, lah. Okay, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm happily married. I've got a kid. Ooh. All right. <laughs> so it, it didn't turn out as expected to be. Um. But of course, uh, it was more of a matter of whether to to carry on, uh, you know, with the relationship you just or to do so nicer lah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a matter of whether it's like, to carry it's like the same story, yeah. Right? But you take like okay, let's make it nicer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a matter of whether you know you you see uh, potential, you know, with the other half lah. Mm. You know, but I chose to take you know a, a risk. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't encourage it, of course, but it's uh, it's something that I didn't expect myself to to be in, and uh, yeah. <laughs> why, 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 make, why makes you take that? How to say? Perfect. Take that route, ah. Yeah. What What makes you to make the first move on doing that? Okay, so the thing and the reason why, right? Okay, so maybe I can share with you because mm-hmm. in my analogy is that uh, I don't want to be having an argument with my partner and then after that looking back at somebody else thinking about how life could have been with the other person mm. you know sometimes when, when you are actually uh, in an argument mm. and then after that you look back like oh man I, I miss uh, you know this person and then you, you think that if let's say I would have been with that person that I like I think I wouldn't be in an argument like that how do you know that? <laughs> I mean like this is I mean maybe it's just me lah but this is the point This is the thing Where people go like, What if I've done this yeah, Or but, what could have been But the thing What I'm saying is like You can Where did you get That that, that Confirmation Like you know I mean it's just be A belief You understand okay. what I mean Like what if It could have It could have It would have It's a belief Okay It's what the same it logic uh, Like for example We talk about studies lah, Maybe mm, okay. okay When you take up a course And then you, you, You're not so sure you're pondering whether to like take this course or take that course. Mm-hmm. So you decided to go with that one particular course, right? Mm-hmm. And then when you go to the lecture hall and when you sit for the exam and the results came out, crap. Mm. Then you're like thinking, oh, if I have taken that course, my results would have been better. But if you're dumb, you would have still been... <laughs> but you see, because bad. probably... <laughs> <you're> dumb, <laughs> no, it's like when you, are, you, when you have interest in that subject mm. or maybe that course, maybe things would have turned out differently. You know, the belief is that when you're interested in something, you do your best. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, you know where I'm coming from, right? Uh-huh. So the thing is that when when you do something, you you must like what you do, and mm-hmm. you know, and you must be certain that you will not get tired of it, lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so the thing is that put it back. 
you, you know you, you know I mean, yeah so the logic is when you, when you do something right <laughs> you, you have to know what you're doing but of course at the point of time these were the options given to me you know and you didn't know that there were better options that imperfections right there's a possibility that you know you, you accept the fact that imperfections are like that mm-hmm. and then after you realise that when you meet somebody else you realise that oh my goodness you know am I really making the right move Or is this really the path that I want to take? So the meeting and the, <laughs> the meeting part, you know, like you're given this option. Yeah. And then why you go and find another option? Yeah, because like what he said already, there was a gap. There was something missing. You to fill up the gaps. Uh, no, there was something missing and you were looking for something. So you couldn't find in the person that you were already with. Yeah, I mean, if you put it that way lah. I guess for me, what I was looking for was someone of, uh, you know, who was able to, to live. Um, the main thing is to actually start a family together with me. Mm-hmm. Okay, can I, okay, maybe, I mean, just because we were start talking about this topic, right? So I was just thinking about it as well. I mean, like, why is it that, okay, I mean, like, excluding the story that Rizal said, lah, mm-hmm. why do you think that in a relationship, there's always mm-hmm. only one party who cheats? No, my one just not two parties. Yeah, there's is two parties <laughs> lah. But one of them will probably think that you know it's my fault. They kind of thing. Okay. But the question, what I'm putting is like, why do you think there's always like, there's uh the reason why the relationship comes to an end is because one of the party cheats. You know that kind of thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Why do you think they cheat? I mean, you're saying that there's a missing piece. Why can't you think from the other person's perspective? Like, mm-hmm. don't you do you you think that you are that perfect? You are finding for the gaps of the other person. What about yourself? So do you think this filling up gap is bullshit? Yes, it's just excuses. That's right. Uh-oh. It's just excuses, bro. I mean, like, you think, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is literally excuses. No, but I mean, at the end of the day, the right? Is just got that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like when, when you go into this path, after the got that, means you change your path. Uh, that's yeah. Why. That's the uh, explanation of this shit. Because if you, if you're not got like. Itchy, yeah. Uh huh. You won't do all this shit, lah. You will still accept the. Could be, could yeah. be. Basically, it's just. Yeah, maybe temptation sets in temptation first. Temptation last, lah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Sets in first. You you agree with that? Yeah, I mean to a certain extent, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest, right? It's true. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah. then for for me, it's like, um, uh, yeah, I'm just lucky that I found somebody who I can really click with. Because uh. it, because if this filling up thing, ah, uh, it's like. Okay, you have a girlfriend. After that, you meet someone. Mm. You meet someone and oh, this person is like, okay lah, it's better than my girlfriend, blah, 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 filling up the gaps. Yeah. Then maybe yes. But if you have a girlfriend and then you go and swipe, 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 swipe until you get another girl lah. <laughs> then you go and see the girl lah. That one is something wrong with you, bro. Yeah, that one, of course lah. That one is fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So your wish, op- your one is wish option. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to keep it that way, yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you want to know, then you ask me. Then I'll tell you personally. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the difference, lah. Yeah. Between it. Yeah, but I mean, I mean to be honest, yeah, it's right. Because like I said already, whatever I did, right, it's not encouraged. I wouldn't recommend also. Mm. You know, if I were to be from another perspective, I'll be like him like that, saying that it's probably fucked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you know Why would you want to do this I mean like Okay anyway Like you are really really lucky I would say that I mean like Imagine uh-huh. if The girl <laughs> You actually <laughs> cheat For right What if she turn up To be worse than Your current I mean yeah, the Previous correct. one I mean, I mean um, That's the thing mm. You know So A lot of like um, Getting to know the person mm. Comes in place Communication is really Important to me uh. You know Having to talk to the person And of course um, Hanging out with the person To me, maybe creating scenarios. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't talk to her about scenarios, but rather you go out together, do activities together, do certain things, and then you see how she actually uh, works or how, how she actually uh, reacts towards the problem. So, how long mm-hmm. does this mm-hmm. cheating duration actually yeah, last? What, what, what kind of activities do you do? What kind of activities do you do? <laughs> not that guy lah I mean that one of course we have to put whether you like it or not when you get older right that one has to come in play when you get older because mm-hmm. that's the reason why certain people leave so it's like test drive dulu lah yeah mm. give the test drive orientate yourself first to make sure that you really, whether is this the car that you want to drive like for life calibrate <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but whatever it is, uh, the plus point was that she likes kids. She mm-hmm. loves kids. So that was the thing that uh, really, you know, got me. So with that said, you know, I, I knew that, you know, she could really take care of kids and that's what I really wanted. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when you look for someone, for me lah, personally, I like mm-hmm. someone who's able to take care of my kids, who loves kids. And if, let's say, you, you love kids, right? You know, by nature itself, I believe that you will be also patient lah. Mm. I mean, that's my belief lah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's in, you know, she's in that line and she deals with kids. So yeah. she understands children and, you know, I like looking at the fact that she really loves children. So that's like the plus point. And also very family, <clears throat> family oriented. Mm. So these are the things that uh, she had. And then somehow or other, you know, we managed to talk and then we, we got to where we are now. There's a lot more that, that is being uh, so-called discussed la, between both of us. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Whether, you know, to cheat or not to cheat or whether to be selfish or not to be selfish. Because at the end of the day, let's put in this perspective, right? Mm. If let's say you put yourself away from other people. Okay, maybe as time pass, mm. how long are you able to put up the wall? You know, <laughs> maybe you can. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. but you know, for me, is that I have to be sure, lah. So when now the thing is that no doubt I argue with my wife sometimes, you know. But I don't have this thing of like looking back, like, or oh, what if I could have been with somebody else, you know, this would have been so much better. But maybe because when I was younger, when I was in a relationship, yes, when I had arguments, mm-hmm. I would think about uh, maybe like crushes that I had that, oh, if I actually <laughs> chased this girl, you know, I would have had a better relationship, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then now don't have, uh, totally don't have. Uh. Maybe it's my my belief uh, that when you argue with someone, mm. you know, when you argue with your partner, you don't look back on the past that what could have been better that means like when you choose something, you must be certain that this is it. This is the life that you want. And that goes to the, <laughs> the fact of like, how sure are you this is the person? And how sure are you this is the person you want to marry and be with for the rest of your life? Now that topic, another time. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> today's topic is on why people cheat, right? Mm-hmm. You know, but I think at the end of the day, we can take, Take it away, la, saying that it's probably last la, on the guy's end. La. But I'm not too, not too sure about girls. La. You know. <laughs> you got to ask girls who cheat then. <laughs> <laughs> you know any girls that cheat? Yeah. How about oh. maybe girls who actually broke up with their boyfriend and ended up with somebody else? Yeah, I, I, see, I don't really know much stories like that because seriously, I don't She has out. a wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't hang out with people like that. I just like... <laughs> No, we are we are not friends. Like so far, I, I've never like I, I've never met any girl so far lah that cheated lah. No, but they. I'm God pretty right, sure right. there are stories out there lah. Definitely. Mm. God God. You know, wait. I did have, but then that was still young. So I guess you know it still doesn't really count because at the point of time your mind oh, yeah, is still. still yeah, out. correct. Must must be the the age where you know twenty plus late twenties mm. that kind of thing early 30s and then you know on the verge of getting married like why people cheat so you actually know? so what happens if actually the guy regrets like does he you know a guy who cheats mm-hmm. or the girl who cheat do they ever regret like you know for, yeah when like, they sway yeah. la, then suck up <laughs> what <laughs> else can you do say you go and find another person la. yeah la, when, when you actually take the risk of cheating mm. then you should be prepared That's for the consequences taking the risk Yes. When, <laughs> when you first want to go and do this thing, uh, mm. you already decide this thing is a risk. Yeah. So if you're willing to take the risk, then you face the consequences. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Ma. I mean, it's true. Yeah. True. So it's either kena or never kena. You never kena, you. Lucky lah. Yeah. Huh? Uh, like, na- what? Okay lah, <laughs> but of course she. She already put up the wall. She's not mm. going to be open up to temptation. Mm-hmm. So in other words, she won't be wavered. Neither will she be, you know, tasting something good. Ah. It's like, for example, right, when you choose that particular dish, right? Okay. And you eat all. Mm. But then people tell you like, eh, hey, my nasi padang nicer than whatever you're having. <laughs> la. I, I tell you something, ha. Huh? Some people love durian, but do everybody love durians? 
No. That no. one is a quiet taste. Uh, that's that's different. Something like that. It's like people Not, will tempt you with something, lah. But yeah. then you choose to say no because yes. I'm happy with my food. Don't disturb my plate. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So in other words, right? They will never know what's out there. Because mm-hmm. you block yourself out. And because I'm happy with whatever I'm having. <laughs> yeah. Okay lah. I mean, oh, it's okay. You know, we respect that. Mm. Yeah. Then you, you would you be also setting up a wall? For like, for example, if you're with somebody <laughs> else, right? <laughs> Maybe you're with someone already. Right. You no. Know, and then would you be like setting up a wall that if any girl comes in, you know, you don't want to be wavered at all. You're all like, right. you know, I'm not going to like try and I'm not going to talk to you. Neither am I going to consider anything. No la, simple rule la. If like once you got girlfriend, then just leave it like that lah. The rest all no need to. There's no such thing as what I believe. Eh, there's no such. There is lah. There is. There are all the safe cases lah. The safe cases, but guys and girls are usually cannot become like best friend lah, unless the guy uh, is gay. Mm. Okay. Then yes, you guys have like can. But <laughs> I I don't agree when there's this the guy say. I don't know. I just find it weird. Uh. I have like okay. I have a friend who have a guy best friend, uh-huh. and then uh, for the birth her birthday, this guy was there. Then the boyfriend who was there, then like, okay. Mm. I, know, I just find it weird lah. Uh. But some some there are some cases who made it like girl and guy uh-huh. uh best friend. But I don't know how the guy's feeling ah. Uh. You know? That's true. That's another story, lah, because you don't know how the guy is feeling. Yeah, could probably another topic, lah. Can yeah. guys and girls be yeah. best friends? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent. Yeah, let's talk about that topic. I'll be in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just wrap up today. Okay, I think uh, we came to a conclusion. Mm. You know that uh, temptations is there. It's whether you want to put it out. And you know, put up a wall to prevent yourself from being tempted, yes. and then um, of course you know there will be people who are actually seeking for lust, yeah, <laughs> to fill up the gaps. You yeah, know, do it if you are. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, everything that is being given to you, you know, is whether you want to make any move on it, lah. Yeah, it will always be there, lah. Technically, yeah. you know, it's like when people temptation is everywhere, lah. It's whether you want to take it up or not. Then I mean, if you do take it up, then you have to deal with the consequences. Ah. Weak. No, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another way to look at it is weak. Ah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we we can close today with the fact that temptations is there. Whether you want to take it or not, it's up to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. This show is brought to you by. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we'll just wrap it up for today. And this is Marcus here, and. Uh, You Me Yeah Maybe Nitya What Let's do you be? call me Pushpa Or like Alright to know who is Pushpa Be sure to Listen to the next episode Pushpa, Pushpa is creepy bro Oh no Push What What Okay I So we're signing off now You're listening to 3 2 1 Podcast by Paper Film Play.